Hello guys, welcome to another video. This video I'm going to be showing you how to cut and style your hair like James Dean. I'm going to make the cutting part really simple and short. You're going to need yourself a pair of wall clippers. You're going to need some guards. You're going to need a number 8, 1 inch. What the frick? 1 inch. A number 6, 3 fourths inches. A seven and a, f and a five and a four. I can't really remember the right order that I had these in, so I'm just going to show you guys a still picture right here. Okay, so that picture just covered where you should be cutting along the neckline, along the neck from here up to here. And uh, this is how to do it yourself. Now, I highly recommend having someone with blending shears blend in the sides and the top for you so it goes well evenly. And you want your sides to be cut about one inch to one and a half inches. And the top should be about two, if you're going for Rebel Without a Cause, two, in, two inches or two and a half. But if you're going for older, longer James Dean, about three inches. But it should be all evenly two inches on the top. Now you're going to need some pomade. This is my own brew. It's a very nice, has a very nice hold to it. As you see from the pictures, I'm just going to skip right into the uh, styling part. You're going to need this. One of these for the, uh, the teasing part I'm going to get into. And lastly, one of these. You won't be combing your hair very much during the day because if you're using a good product like this which is sticky medium shine and keeps your hair in place all day if you use the uh, right kind of product you won't be messing with your hair that much and no matter what you do it'll still look fine so let's start with the uh, brush keep in mind I have my camera sticky tacked to the mirror but uh, let's start with the uh, basic brush and we're gonna go from the points of your hairline where it looks like it's receding but it's actually not it's just like where it normally goes at just from here, you want to go up in a circular motion, and like this, and the sides straight back in that motion. And from that point of the hairline, you want to go back in the front, back, like this. All right, now you want to go from the sides and swirl up over here from the side swirl up again and you want to bring the f dig into the front and pull it out now you want to take the front just a little bit and roll it this way just like push down and then roll it slightly out we're creating that weird texture that he had and in a certain photo, which I'll show you in a second, try to do some edits. Okay, I think I did both of both of my tweaks. Now we're gonna take the front of this brush, we're gonna push it forward, even the front teased forward like this. For some reason, the front was short and a long looked like it was, and this part looked really long. I'm going to show you that picture in just a second. Now you're going to take your comb and go over the basic outline of the hair. Keeping everything in place. For this basic James Dean style. It helps if you have wavy curly hair. To, well, wavy hair to do this. Now I'm going to show you that snapshot that I'm talking about where it looks like really short hair and long over here. Alright, that's how you do it. Just keep teasing it forward until you get this little section sticking out the way it should be. So it looks a little bit forward right here. And while the rest of it should be back, and, and from this side right here, you want it all to swirl back this way. And from here, you want it to swirl back this way, as you saw in, in those two uh, pictures. Well, that's uh, pretty much it for that part. Now let's turn around. I want to 
I take the Mac and just comb that straight down. Comb it straight down. And you can see, you, if you did the uh, cutting part correct, you got the fade in there. And it's a nice classic haircut. It's still rockabilly, it still works. You still have a pompadour and you're not messing with it as much. It's not long, so you're not pulling out hair, trying to wash it out in the shower. Um, you still have your pompadour shape. Well, at the same time, you remember for looking like James Dean. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Sorry if I sound a little bit boring. I hope you um, like this video, subscribe. Help me get to a thousand subscribers. And I'll start pumping out some more content for you guys. Anyway, just, re just remember if you want to uh, try this pomade, shoot me a comment down below and give me your email and I can send you a batch. Though I will charge $15 for it because all the oils I get for this stuff is expensive, but um, the pomade is well worth it. It has a bunch of uh, healthy oils in it. If you want to read this, please put this phone in a mirror. I'll hold it here for a second. The ingredients. I've also added lanolin. It's not listed on here, but I added another oil. So I medium hold my own brew. I have a peppermint scent to it. I've already reviewed this poem before, so I won't do it again. Anyway, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comment section what, what video I should make down below. Also, shout out to uh, Cryptic Art and... Who's that? Frosty, Frosty the Greaser. He's uh, recently... He recently commented on one of my videos. I want to give him a shout out. Thank you guys for watching this video. Peace out. Mm.